Alrighty, everybody, here we go. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. I'm going to push the button. I have to tweak options. I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to get right to that while hopefully some folks trickle in. We'll see. Settings. Yes, subtitles, always. I never understand games that do not have <laughs> subtitles on by default. Alright, uh, graphics. <clears throat> Very good. This is the way. Hi, Lone Wonder, how are you? Pop that over to Ultra. Key bindings. Raise radio, left shift. Cycle dialogue, T and G. Climb is spacebar, left mouse to use. WASDA to move, R to run. Right mouse to zoom. M to map. N for compass, F for flashlight, C for camera. Read. Keep tab notes F five F nine. All right, very good. I can I, I I can play with those defaults. That'll work. Oh, good. I'm glad. Uh, I'm doing great, Lone Wonder. Thank you for asking. I'm glad this game gets a gets a vote of confidence from you. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get started. Hi, Ethan. Welcome back. Good to see you as well. How's your Saturday? New game. Campo Santo presents in cooperation with Panic Inc. Those are good company names. <laughs> Boulder, Colorado. 1975? That's a 20-minute drive south of me. <laughs> you see Julia. Oh, okay. I'm... She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. <laughs> Let's ask about her. I mean, I know what it's like to hit on a girl drunk. I generally at least have the presence of mind to ask about something, you know, other than her. To, not, not to talk about her looks out the gate. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Hi, Sauna, how are you? Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want. She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Nice! Go, Henry! My man! <laughs> Backpack. Pick up. Truck door. Get in. He's got a wedding ring on! You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Alright, well, she's obviously gonna die. <laughs> Julia wants to get a dog. 
and there's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Yes, it is my first time playing. Uh, I'm a big dog fan. We're gonna go with the shepherd. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. 1979. Okay, four years later. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. <coughs> what do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? <laughs> that would be pretty good. I mean, she's a professor. We're already pretty late in life. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. I'm doing great, Sauna. Thanks for asking. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Two Forks Region Overview. Five Mile Creek, Jonesy Lake, Thunder Canyon, Two Forks Lookout, Cottonwood Creek, Ruby River. This is just what I can read. There's some caches. I can't quite read the names. Mule Point, Wapiti Meadow, Thoroughfare Basin, Supply Drop, Beartooth Point. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. No fireworks. Warning, Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. The trail may be vague along... Mm, yeah, it's a little too small to read. That's alright. Whatever. Henry and I are from Colorado. We're advanced hikers. That's just how it works. <laughs> Hi, Meerkat! 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Get mad or ignore her. You know, a big reason my first marriage ended the way it did is because I bottled shit up for too long. Given the two... N neither of these choices are great, but it's better to express your feelings. You get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Now see, those are both fun options. I would probably pose and flex. You look awesome. <laughs> I like this game already. We haven't even gotten to the meat of it where the wife is dead. Huh? And I already like it. Two Forks Fire Lookout. Eight miles, two forks lookout tower, eight more miles still. Space bar to climb over obstructions. Nineteen eighty two. 
During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May me move fuck d d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. <sighs> I'd be pissed that he ran my dog off. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job, or agree if she commutes back and forth. Oh, I guess we're, we're she's not dead, we're divorced. This is gonna hit a little closer to home. Uh, I mean, being, be, being apart doesn't work. This is a dick thing to do, but... Like... I, but I can see it happening. Like, you know, if I were married and my partner wanted to move to a big city like New York or Chicago, I would absolutely not go. And... <clears throat> try to convince her not to take the job. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. 1985. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was... She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Yikes. That's bad. Journal. March 5th, 1985. Wait, I wanted to read that. Ugh. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh no, this is... 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. I like to think I would have the wisdom 
Like, it's easy to say in the abstract that obviously trained professionals should be taking care of someone with a condition that serious. I like to think I would know that if I were in the situation. Oh, I can't read... I can't actually read the journal I picked up. What is this nonsense? Well, hello. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Nineteen eighty nine, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Okay, so this is gonna be like my vision quest. Months go by, mayhem dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. <clears throat> Enter the lookout tower. Right, so my wife is not dead, but she's sick at home. That is a brutal intro. I do already like the game, though. Turn on the power. Map table. The singular mind. <laughs> Dr. Jonas Allard. Don't mind your mind alone. Glory. Water Jug, National Forest Guidebook, Cookbook, Stove, Old Wood Stove, Pine Cone. Well, I mean, there you go. Desk Lamp. Radio. Generator switch. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Hmm. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Flora of the Shoshone poster. Can I sleep? 
forever. Sure, funny. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. I like this one. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. All right. Well, that's a very enthusiastic endorsement, Sauna. I'm enjoying it so far. That was a, that was a hell of an intro. I'm excited to see where we go. Oh, the typewriter. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Answer radio call. All right. Photo with Julia. Ah. Okay, so naturally we can't, uh, put back. Can't actually see her face. It's the way of these things, I suppose. I'll call her back in a minute. Calendar. Death strikes at two. Patriots. Birds of Wyoming. Alright, nice. Coffee Thermos. My man. Manly Thermos! It's a great name for a coffee thermos. Oh, put it back, would you? <laughs> Alright, fine. Supplies. Space Puffs. Dish soap, cast iron pan, coffee percolator, bleach, supplies. Alright, still no notes. <clears throat> sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Locate round thing. Hold left shift to talk about targeted object. Report map table. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Confirm what Delilah is seeing. Are those fucking End to use fireworks? compass. Yes, they are. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. Down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like kick the shit out of them? <laughs> can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into can discipline. You that? Like kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Find rope in NFS cash box 306. Hi, Alex. Secure. Secure. Shut up. 
Alright, well, I like Delilah already. Okay, well, I guess we're getting out of here. I need to, uh, oh, yeah, I, I am, I'm, I don't, I don't know exactly what the mechanics of this game are going to be, I'm, I'm not sure if there are fail states, I feel like there must be since I can save and load, uh, I'm just going to grab a drink, I'll be right back. <coughs> Hi, River. Oh. Okay, off we go. Oh, on the, forgot the drink. Realized I had to pee when I stood up. Forgot to get the drink. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Much appreciated. Restart current day. Interesting, okay. Um... Well, I mean, fuck you, dumbasses. You do not, you do not shoot fireworks in the national forest on high fire danger days. M to read map. Zoom in. Okay. So head west. Cache three hundred six is right on the way. We're heading toward Jonesy Lake. They are probably at. The campsite I can see right there, near jo near said Jonesy Lake. Fair enough. Let's go. Zero point seven miles to Jonesy Lake. But. I will not be I will not be bullied into hurrying. He was, but I can't uh I can't retrieve it. He retrieved the sheet of paper out of the typewriter after the cutscene. It's a turtle! Impassable rock slide. The trail out is blocked. Report turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Mayhem Junior. Mayhem Junior. That is peculiar. It has sentimental value. Holy to adopt him. Oh hell yeah. 
and passable rock slide. The trail out is blocked. Thoroughfare Basin Region Trailhead. Report rock slide. Uh, whoa, Delilah, the trail I hiked in on, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. What is this, the Twilight Zone? No, there was a, there was a rock slide. Is there another path out of the thoroughfare? Ah, uh, um, let me think. Oh, God, I guess I'm lucky I wasn't on it when it happened. Yeah, for sure. You know, without some impossible mountaineering, there's not really another way out. So what the hell? We'll fly you out? I mean, sometimes folks get cut off by fire and we just scoop them up when it's time to go. Okay. Don't be nervous. Maybe I'll just live out here. <sighs> Maybe I'll just live out here now. Henry the Hermit. Maybe I'll, I'll find myself a baby bear to keep as a pet and live off the land like Grizzly Adams. All right. I like that it actually shows me where I am. And so I can also go North or west. All right, I'll head. I'll, I'll 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 head west for now. When I get back, anyway. Any downside to running? I hope not. Because <laughs> I'm going to do it. Until the game tells me there is some kind of downside. Way to be, Henry. Okay. It's not that big a zone. That's nice. Hey! Cash box 306. Found the supply box. I found the supply box. Great. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. What's the code again? Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. There we go. Alright. Note. Aha, cue to read note. 7786. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. <coughs> Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. We'll keep it. Tab to review kept notes. Granola bar. Thought we weren't supposed to leave food out. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Well shit. Let's have a granola bar. Old rope. I found that rope. Track down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. 
Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. Map. Copy information. Map updated. Interesting. All right. medicine wheel. Aha, uh -huh, report medicine wheel. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Nah. I don't need to tell her I lost the trail. That would be amateur hour. Ruby River, 0.4 miles to the south. Jonesy Lake, half a mile to the northwest. Two Forks Fire Lookout. There's the cash box. All right. Oh, I like that it uh, shows me all the different possible trails. That's pretty good. Go Henry, go Henry, go, go Henry, go Henry, go. Clawed up tree. Report claw marks. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. I mean, she's not wrong, but damn, Delilah. That's hardcore. <clears throat> Okay, onward. My my muscle memory always thinks that a shift should be run. Didn't know I killed bears. Unsubscribe. Attach rope to hook. Report shale slide. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Maybe call it Cripple Gulch. I'd go with Widowmaker. What about shitty bosses going to get me killed hill? No, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's a 50-foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. They just look like knives, okay? Plus there's Map updated. Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. 
How do I get down? How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Attach rope to hook. <laughs> Repel. What about Widow's Pain, like Joffrey's sword? Ouch. Balls. Yeah, that would hurt. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Widowmaker got the best of me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Old climbing gear. Report tie off point. Hey, there's a tie off point off here just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. Alright. So long as <coughs> you can explore later. That's a fair point. Summer in the mountains. Yeah. 645, it would still be this nice. Hell of a nice camping spot. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Oh, you rat bastards. Report beer cans. I'm finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muscoilite on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Yeah, assholes. <clears throat> campfire. They decided to have a campfire, too. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Stomp it out. Hmm. Whiskey. They left a bottle of whiskey. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Well, I put out their fire. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Bundle of fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love fireworks, but you can't ignore fire danger signs in the National Forest. Oh shit, Ferret or Irish. 
Save for later. Yeah, why not? <laughs> two pairs of clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. All right. Where was that clear button? Hmm. Guess I can't actually use it. Not yet, anyway. A bra! I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Yeah, I must not have the right tool. I'm just interested in getting up on top of this big rocky outcropping if I can. Ah, a raccoon. Report raccoon. Uh, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. The cut TM. Hey, cut's an HM. <laughs> That's always the most useless one. Like, you definitely always need it in terms of, like, progressing through the game, but... Uh-oh. Try again. There you go. Properly trigger the animation this time. There we go. Alright. Pair of panties. Uh, there are... I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Another bra. Another pair of panties. There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked women. There are two naked ladies out here. Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. <laughs> I like Delilah. <laughs> found them. I found them in the lake. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Teens, they are drunk. Please cool it with the fireworks, okay? You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, alright? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. Chelsea? What? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Why the guys think he's alright and just stare at him? Whoa, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with... You Light another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. 
Very good. Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Trail sign. Hey, that go okay? I might have got a little hot. <laughs> I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them, though. Seriously. No problem. I just, I immediately wanted to throw the boombox in the lake. I'm so happy the game reacted appropriately to that. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. That was a solid first day, Henry. Way to be. Uncivilized and rude. I mean, they chose to escalate. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Guess so we're taking Thunder Canyon. We'll hit cash 303 on the way. Maybe. They are lucky the stereo was the only thing that took a swim. And if they had not been rude when I first... I, I opened politely. Need to cool it with the fireworks. And they decided to call me fat and insult me. It was, it was time to chuck the boombox. Fuck those bitches. Nearby storm. Report thunder. Yeah, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Yes, I would. This seems like that kind of game, ultimately. Supply cache. Well, I guess I know the code, don't I? Copy map info. To Beartooth Point. Danger, bravery, the great outdoors. Defend our frontier. Horn. Not everything in here is useful, huh? Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. That, however, looks like a flashlight. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Ah! Have to toggle flashlight. Boom. Alright, baby. <coughs> Cave. 
What's in this cave? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Ah, danger! It doesn't seem that danger. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Cave. Play with the cave's echo. No! Play with the echo one more time. No. This guy's my spirit animal. <laughs> Uh huh. Caves closed. For access, key available at Ranger Station, Dubois, Wyoming. Report locked gate. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Sorry, Hank. Climb rocks. <laughs> ah, clever way to do the time transition, I must say. Oh, yeah, there's the storm. You don't fuck with mountain storms, man. Figure. Report some guy. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> I really like Delilah. <laughs> uh, this is where he was. No sign of him now. I have a, I feel such a strong connection to this game already because, uh, you know, I live in Colorado and now I live very, very close to Boulder where, you know, the intro takes place and uh, my cabin that I've talked about a lot that I go to all the time is in the woods in the middle of Wyoming. So this is a uh, very familiar territory to me. Trail closed sign. Sweet. Report fallen trail closed sign. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Oh, the yeah, Delilah's Tower. Took care of the Black Path. Um, it was backbreaking, but. You know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Your lights are on. Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles.
Thoroughfare Fire Lookout, 6.2 miles. Beartooth Point, 1.3 miles. Oh, hey, my tower. Outhouse. So this outhouse. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Old baseball. This is all the electricity I've got? So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... But my hair dryer! What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I feel like I'm gonna be murdered when I'm in there. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tucked with his pants around his ankles. True. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Alright, I like Delilah a lot. Wooden sign. Report thoughts on Forrest Burns. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is that, anyway? What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. His mom was creative. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo <laughs> Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Huh. <laughs> All right. Cinder block. Uh oh. Uh. Typewriter. For you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh shit, someone broke in. Report vandalism. I'm gonna put my typewriter back. Report vandalism. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Old paper? Two orcs map. Report hand-drawn map. There's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is... Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? The girls at the lake? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just tell me where to find a gun. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. 
Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Oh, day two. Here we go. I really like this game. Already. Wake up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Maybe we can... Oh, no, we can't get it... Oh, maybe we can get it again. No. <coughs> Looks like the... <coughs> Looks like the commentary is forever cut off. All right, well, we brought back the whiskey and the fireworks, which are like... <gasps> Where's Mayhem Jr.? Oh, there he is. Hey, my turtle. Hi, buddy. I said to... I, I pushed adopt again, so I assume he'll show up here. Again, I hope, anyway. All right, well, not much to do except get out there, I suppose. Fallen tree. Report blown over tree. The wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. I guess this is the way I need to go. Yep, back to the cave. I don't know if we are supposed to bathe. Although that is a good question, Alex. Cold morning fog. It's actually cold out here. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Talk about mayhem. Talk about Julia. Talk about your favorite bar. Uh, 
You know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has Listen. any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and, um, sorry, but, but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? We'll talk about Julia for now. That would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick and I shouldn't be here. She's sick and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I don't think you need to hide stuff. Oh, well, we made it back to the cave. <coughs> R to toggle jogging. Gap and brush. Clear. Oh, hey, there it is. Looks good here. Utility pole. I can see the wire. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Are we really cut off? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. The system of uh, spotting things and using the radio to talk to Delilah is a pretty cool mechanic for one of these kinds of games. Beartooth Point, Thoroughfare Fire Lookout. Hey, we're only five miles from Delilah now. Old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe... The comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. If I'm near the outhouse, am I going the right way? This outhouse is in the middle of nowhere. Well, I hate to tell you, but everything out here is in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean. Am I on the right track? 
Just keep following the wire to the top of the ridge, and then you can head back. Old notepad. I found an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. And someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the teens are nude. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. Old Shoshone lyrics read. Old Shoshone, Winthrop Carter, Hawk's Rest, Refrain. I'm headed off to Old Shoshone, where the birds and the bees won't know me, where men in the war don't exist no more, and there ain't no gals to keep no score. I'm taking off for the woods, to a place where there ain't no shoulds. Don't need no books, I'll ponder the ponderosas. Don't need no lady, I'll marry the mariposas. I can't waste no time in getting there, I'll do 80 down 80 without a prayer. Don't need no gal, I'll spruce up for the spruces. Don't need no pal, I'll change my mood for the mooses. If you're wondering where's my ass been, it's been cavorting with the ass pens. Don't need no grass, I'll get altered among the alders. Don't need no mass, I'll grovel before the boulders. I'm headed off to Old Shoshone, where the elk and the owls won't know me. Where there ain't no judges to whom I got a plea, because I can be me in Old Shoshone. I like it. It's pretty good. Old cabin? Yeah, look here. And it looks like a cash box, too. Check that out in a minute. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Uh huh. It's a pretty butterfly. Supply cash! Aha! Here it is! Look! Look! They know! Whoever made this game knows! 0451! <laughs> Oops. One too many. Hat! Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through a war, you probably can't get enough silence. Put it on, man. Sweet. Can you see the wire? Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. You wake up pretty early. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up, the Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I covered my head with my pillow. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Can you see me? Uh, hey, I can see your tower. Suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. Alright. Nothing else to say for now, I guess. Unless I see anything else that demands my attention, we'll just... Keep on going. I see another cache. How do I get up there? That is the question. And this appears to be the answer. 302. Got 
Copy map info. A note. Report note between Ron and Dave. And who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Read. 73086. Dave. Heyo, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos profesionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. <clears throat> but I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. Ron's the one she said committed suicide, right? Bored. Six feet down under. Huh. And some firewood and a pine cone. Oh, that's that. So I have to loop back around. I, I see the wire whipping in the wind, though, so I think we're going to get up there and discover that it's going to be down. Hi, Troparium. I don't know about that, but I appreciate the compliment, and welcome to the stream. Nice to have you. A beer can. Guess what? Guess what? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How can these girls be so stupid? How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. <laughs> Long drop down. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I could just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Mm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Utility pole. Yep, okay, the wire's down here. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Inspect the communication line up close. Go to hell. End of the wire. Report cut wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Mm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, 
another big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Oh goody! All right, so we've got we we've got some antagonists. We have villains, and they're teenage girls. <laughs> I hope I have options for like how I can actually scare the shit out of them. That would be fun. this. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Alright. Well, well, well. Find the teens. Chelsea and Lily, I think their names were. Two Forks and Jonesy Lake to the south. Thoroughfare and the Supply Drop to the north. Aha! Uh -huh. What have we here? Port hanging backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Swipe. Brian Goodwin's backpack. What happened to Brian Goodwin? I have a camera now. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. C to use Brian disposable Goodwin. camera. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Look out. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Couldn't handle your charms? What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? C to use disposable camera. Left mouse to take a picture. I have 18 uses left. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Attach rope to hook.
Well, I like that I'm flush with ropes now. One point six miles back to my lookout, one point seven to Jonesy Lake. Looks like we're at cash two forty one. Fossilized claw. Ha! Huh, looks like a raptor claw. Uh someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Fossilized claw. I have one of those. It is a fossilized raptor claw. And a note. Six sixteen eighty six. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs, so I figured I'd stay away. <clears throat> Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. What's this? Fence. No, no trespassing. 18 U.S. Code 6, 1863. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look up what that law is. Whoever, without lawful authority or permission, goes upon any national forest land while it is closed to the public, pursuant to lawful regulation of the Secretary of Agriculture, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than six months, or both. Alright, so, closed by order of the Secretary of Agriculture. Report fence. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out? Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? What's a lichen? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but that'll probably be a few days. Could those girls be behind this fence? Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I... I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Remember the guy yesterday? Hey, remember that guy from yesterday, the guy I saw hiking home? Yes. Maybe he was from this fence place. Mmm, from the land of the fence. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to something. All right, very interesting. Yeah, that's wild. I'm oh. having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. 
Hey, Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. And, well, this is a... There was a fire here. Burned area. I'm not sure where to go from this burned forest. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Burned tree. She's got Alzheimer's, like dementia. She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Scary. We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Thin column of smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. We'll find, <clears throat> find the source of the smoke. Nice. All right. Off we go. <laughs> Canyon crossover. Port Natural Rock Bridge. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Gonna keep going this way for now. So, how'd you meet? We met in a bar. We met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Oh, you were brave. I was drunk. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. Cool.
It's a really pretty sandbox. I'm enjoying this game very much. Ah, there it is. I guess if I have a... I wonder how long this game is. It said four to five hours on how long to beat. Alright, this is where they were yesterday. I'm on... I'm currently on day two of an entire summer. Let's get on down, man. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Maybe I'll go visit her. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Hey, another cash box. Cash 309. Okay, copy the map info. Map updated. Nothing useful in the box, but we do have a missing persons flyer. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, huh? You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly... I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean... There are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. 
And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! Did you say PTSD? So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. So, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Read. Missing person. Name Mitch Michaels. Age 31. Height 6 foot 2 inches. Weight 165 pounds. Hair short brown. Identifying features. Distinctive facial hair. General info. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location. Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle info. 1972 Ford F-250 Blue and White Montana License 28-07326. If you have seen, contacted them, or have more info, Please contact Shoshone National Forest's dispatch at 307-555-6241. Yeah, we'll keep it. Why not? Ooh, aspens! I love aspen, aspen groves. Lush woods. It's pretty lush down here. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down there that's... Oh, you must be talking about the aspen grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't. I did. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Great. Ooh, hey, what's over here? Vista. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um... Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Waterfall. Oh, scrap of fabric. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Hmm. <laughs>
This way, maybe. Imagine that's. He wouldn't say it was near the waterfall if it wasn't. I just I must have missed something back there. No, nope, I already saw this. <laughs> coming from the other direction, but I did already see it. Ah, here we go. Teen campfire. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? Seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Stomp it out. Case of beer. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Teen magazines. Dangerous hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I don't get why the hunks are dangerous. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. <laughs> teen zone. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Apparently pants are back. <laughs> pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. <laughs> the pants, I mean? Those are my sheets! Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Little shits. Uh-oh. Report destroyed tent. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. I'm only gonna do one, but... Do take it though. There you go. Sleeping bag. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Wait. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Torn clothes. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Well, that means they're okay. They found their stuff torn up like this. Bro, oh, read. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. 
You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer, and you're so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Report teen's angry note. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? I'm gonna keep it. The girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're calling the police. They think I attacked them. They called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, but I destroyed their stereo. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. Well, here we are. <coughs> Find boards downstairs to patch window. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> if Tom Cruise had a good looking twin. Isn't that hard? I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos as often as possible. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, dear, yes. Now Board up, broken window. Face. I have a thick beard. My nose has been broken. I have a thick beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Tired. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Let's board up the broken window. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Ready to work. There we go, the two orcs map. 
Brian drew this map. The fantasy map from before looks like it was made by Brian Goodwood. The uh, the handwriting matches everything in that folder I found. Maybe it just fell out a while back. I guess. Twenty sided die. All right. Well, good. All right. I mean, I'm much to do. Ready to work. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. Actually. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Huh. Yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Well, day nine. Okay, there we go. <coughs> There's the time jump. <coughs> Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last. That was their names. I'm happy to be questioned. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's worth mentioning. I... I think it's worth doing <coughs> something. Keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Day 15. Time jumps for days. All right. Henry. Henry, wake up. Out of bed and pick up the radio. Answer Delilah. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Talk to Julia. You're the big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Mm, I am. Some weird stuff happened. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm. I'm sure, it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. All right. Bye, baby. Two weeks in, he's starting to hallucinate. That's good. Day 33. Thoroughfare region supply drop. Five miles to Delilah's tower. All right. Hike north to retrieve Too supplies. Much in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Like, two weeks ago, you called...
called me in the middle of the night. Oh. We were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be here. I am. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh... Wow. For some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you... So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. 4.8 miles to Delilah. 0 0.2 to the supply drop. That is my target. Her fire lookouts that way, supply drops over here. Well, this must be the supply drop. Found the supplies. Found the supplies. Go oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Moss Peak, Spruce, food for other lookout. Food for other lookout. Food for two forks lookout. There we go. End day. Report heading home. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. Okay. It's a month later. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? What about Delilah? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. The June Fire. There we go. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had a bad time with tequila. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little 
reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna flirt with her, I'm still married. Me too. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Me too. I wish you were too. What could we do? What? what could we do? Well, let me tell you. Hmm. Day 76. You're going fishing without a license? Fishing pole. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Catch a fish in Jonesy Lake. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Search the lakeside for bear tracks. Is problem a euphemism? Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. I took their whiskey. This feels like a bug. There's no reason the fireworks and the whiskey should be back here. That feels like it was a bug. That's okay, though. Alright, well, we're heading to the lake. We're gonna catch a fish. And we're gonna look for bear tracks. Clipboard. What the... Uh... D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? Oh, boy. Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on, something's out here. Locate strange noise toward canyon. I'm worried. Wapiti Station. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. 63189, 2F, day 64. D, front row seat, biggest fire of year. H, really going, 12.15 a.m. D, I don't talk to other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. D, feelings for 2H, Henry is erased. Maybe just drunk. Rainbow strikes. JL, Nexus, 3X Weekly, 2F. Fire routes, Northwest, YNP Border, Farside, J Lake, Bridger Peak, Jib Mountain, Sheep Mountain. 7489, Happy Fourth of July. Fireworks? Haha, <laughs> all night. 7589, day 70. D, would you kill Paul McCartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix? H, absolutely. D, me too. Prin, me three. D, what's your favorite music? Inaudible. Relocate? Oh yeah, you know we're keeping that. Locate strange noise toward canyon.
red walkie-talkie. Report dropped radio. Locate strange noise nearby. Walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. Pick up. Oh damn. Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on? <coughs> I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? That's a good question. I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. It's just got weird. There are people listening. It's just... There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What is going on behind that fence? What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Can I still look for bear tracks or and try to catch a fish, or has that... I guess that's all been superseded, which makes sense. Cash 305. Map. More information to copy. Map updated. And another note. 829.86. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Profesionales is Italian. Old sweater. University of Eastern Colorado is not a real place. Just in case you were wondering. The Fourth Estate by Richard Sturgeon. Alright. Not much else in there. Alright.
Well, we found the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Get through the fence. This place is crazy. It's like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. A gate! Whoppity. Locked gate. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. Alright. Be careful. Loose stone. Use rock. I can't get in. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Ah, oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Look for controlled burns south of Ruby River. If I remember right, Ruby River's like it's back where the Yeah, like way back towards my lookout. Okay. East of the lake. How can I get to Ruby River? I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? This way. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Anything strange with you? Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. 
about my radio. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Intercepting our frequency? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Clawed up tree. What's the best route to the southeast? I'm back up at the top of the shale slide near Two Forks. Good. What's the best route? Well, it's not far from that medicine wheel. Hike east, southeast of there, and look for the controlled burn. And good luck keeping ashes off your pants. Cash 307 and Cash 308. Maybe he'd actually enjoy it. His dad could protect him. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. I hope so. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Find firefighters in old scout camp past controlled burn. Controlled burn. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a burn gets out of control? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Fired? Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Ruby River. <clears throat> I thought I remembered signs for Ruby River. The June Fire. Well, the June Fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Oh! <laughs> more caches down here too. I mean I guess this is essentially the only area of the map we haven't really been yet. Cache 307. Lending library. Ah, oh, books. Nice. Jane Eyre, One Chance to Die, Terminal 7, The Accidental Savior. Oh, 
Oh man, this is a uh, that's a uh, that's a gone home Easter egg. That's the that's the one hit book the father in Gone Home had. That's a deep cut. I like it. Copy the info. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Alright, well, it's pretty. It's becoming pretty clear what's going on with them. In some ways, anyway. I should be. This is good. All right. <clears throat> What's this? Wrecked snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Signpost. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Because it's called Pork Pond? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, Ooh. you know, anywhere. Stripped engine. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Pork Pond. All right. Pork Pond. Is the scout camp near Pork Pond? So, is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. You'll cross a small ravine and you shouldn't be able to miss it. Alright. Heading the right way. Not much to Pork Pond these days. Camp Arapaho. Oh, a Boy Scout camp! That's what they meant by Scout camp. Who else was a Boy Scout besides me? Uh oh, broken bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. I can't cross here. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Space bar. Long drop down. That'll get us there, though. You were a scout for three weeks? I was a scout for... I'm... Shit. I was... I was a Cub Scout, and I was a Boy Scout till I turned 18. Totem Pole. Mm-hmm. 
about the scouts. You ever talk to a scout? Talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Like what? What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics. Model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Oh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see... Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. I love the outdoor stuff, and I had a good group of scouts, too, like... Scout camp is where I learned to play Dungeons and Dragons. Report old shelters. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Old shelter. Dead campfire. Firefighters are gone. Hang on. There's gotta be more back here, doesn't there? That is everything. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> not exactly. I'd be, I, I'd have better chances than average. That's for sure. Like. I know how to... I can make some rudimentary shelters, I can tie some knots, I can start a fire, that kind of thing. Well, I guess that is everything out here. Report missing firefighters. Yeah, these guys are gone. Found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Memo. Take. Report memo. AD, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Let's read it. Squad Boss Grant Carson, 71089, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew, 
Paint Rock Ranger District, 1220 North 8th Street, Grable, Wyoming, 82426, regarding Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region. Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Rich Slicerinko, Assistant Superintendent. And yeah, we'll keep that. Oh, there's stuff in here. Bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Missing persons flyer. Same one, Mitch Michaels. Alright. I'll keep that one too. Oh hey, that'll do. Axe! Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, baby! <clears throat> that'll do. Okay. We have an axe. Blocked trail. Ah! That's why I couldn't... That's what I needed to clear these. My man! Yeah, get mad. Chop down. Yeah, that's right. Now we can ask some questions. Let me check one more time. Make sure there's nothing else I missed out here. Alright, that looked like an area I could get to, but looks can be deceiving. Alright, I think that's everything. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Strong work, Henry. I like it. Are you there? I, I have a 
the font. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's getting a little unnerving now. Day 77. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. He took his wedding ring Hello, off. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Why are you so chipper? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Examine flora poster. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um... Internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Aha! Go to Cottonwood Creek. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Cottonwood Tree. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Alright, we got some genuine intrigue now, along with the very emotional storytelling that was going on before that. I'm here for it. Okay, so we're going to Cottonwood Creek. Which is now, I think, genuinely the only area I've not been yet. Yeah, been, uh, I haven't been to the Thoroughfare Basin either. I haven't been to the far northwest, and I haven't been center south. Been everywhere else. So, I'm going to go back to the medicine wheel. Which is this away, I believe. <clears throat> Need to take a quick restroom break and grab a drink. I'll be right back. Who else would it be? Oh my goodness. 
He's a great dog. Man, I want to bust into Wapiti Station and kick somebody's ass. Is that going to happen? <laughs> this is clearly not that kind of game, but... Yeah, so I'm... I guess the, the, the only place that, that... So there are two places on the surface I haven't been. I'm about to go to Cottonwood Creek, and that leaves the Thoroughfare Basin. Um, and then there's the... Uh, the only other place I haven't been, I mean, I obviously haven't been to Wapiti Station, even though it's on the map, and I haven't been inside those caves. I don't really know how much game is left, either. These are all interesting questions. Questions worth asking. Ruby River's that way. Where's the, where's the medicine wheel? I'm heading right for it. About halfway. Oh, that's all. There's there's that much left. That's great. I mean, I'm I'm enjoying this. So that's good news. All right. That should be. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. What did you change it to again? I'm blanking. Seriously? It's nerve-wracking out here. It's five, six, seven, eight. Which you can also attribute to rack nerves. Whoa, hey. That's the second time that's happened. I've clicked the prompt and he's just taken off. Right, there, there are a few little bugs in this game, but nothing too bad. Copy the map info. Three blind rats. New radio. I found what you left me. Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. Hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Smart girl. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. <laughs> Break into Wapiti Meadow. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. What about the other lookouts? Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Who is doing this? Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here.
here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Is this all in my head? Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you, are you... Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Julia, maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real, and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second, and then call me back. I'm on your side. Discarded radio. Keep his evidence. Okay, I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. Nice. Alright. Break into Wapiti Meadow. Alright, it's time. Yeah, because, I mean, I have to think that we're going to get to find out what happened to Ned and Brian and Ron and Dave and Chelsea and Lily and the missing hiker, Mitch whatever, right? Oh, shit, a ski. I do find out. Good. Way to way to ease my nerves without actually spoiling anything. <clears throat> I didn't have nerves. This is a this is a really well written game. I wouldn't think that it would leave giant gaping unexplained mysteries like that. Didn't quite get to finish looking around here. It's so dark. I like the Silent Hill style pocket flashlight. That's always a nice touch. Well, I'm very nearly on completely the wrong side of the map. I gotta get west. The June fire is pretty massive.
I like that in the end you can just run through the creek even though it also gives you options to hop over rocks and logs. It's a nice little detail. <laughs> Why would you do why, that? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck. Come on! Why didn't she listen to me? Oh, got turned around. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very easy to do out in the woods. Should have just done what I said. Everything would be fine, but no. Couldn't do that. Thank you, Lone Wonder. Like all of my sneezes, that one was powerful. Hmm. <clears throat> Down we go. Well, excuse me, princess. goes to the last place we did see the girls. I need to make my way to... If I can get to Jonesy Lake, retrace my steps, get back to the gate. And well, after this, we will have explored the entire above ground except for the thoroughfare basin at the northwest corner. So we'll just have that in the caves. Yeah, it was this way, I remember. Then up through here. This way, right? Yes. Right, assholes, coming in, Jack Torrance style, busting in with an axe.
Gate lead axe. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Here's Johnny. <sighs> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Investigate Wapiti Meadow. Open lid. Clipboard. Report bee sting. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Hmm. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Wapiti Station personnel. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Joson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. You know, I ain't putting shit back. <clears throat> Getting dark. That's a that's a special trick to pull. Whoa, hey, here we go. Monitoring tower. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Beeping equipment. And there are all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Oh, look, the sun's actually setting. Like I can see it moving down. Monitoring tripod. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Tent. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Shelf of food. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Wave receiver. I think I found the thing they used to track us. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Wave receiver instructions. Locates any strong signal. Green light equals target straight ahead. Distance light equals strength of signal. Tone equals source of signal discovered. And to use wave receiver. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, new compass, neat. Caught. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Equipment. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. This stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Barometer? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Clipboard. Okay. I've got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh... Yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? The missing teens? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Clipboard, pick up. Subject Beacon Frequence Sex Social Role 4022 433.87 MHz Male MO Frequent Departure from Two Forks Area 914 433.84 MHz Female PE Avoidance Behaviors Consult Previous Data 387 3871 433.92 megahertz male I don't know what the O M O P E or O R unreciprocated desire for copulation conflict with other males 42723 433.76 megahertz male ND disproportionate food intake so it's not the girls it's two other men I'm going to keep that. Bulletin board. Tracking what? They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. Earthquake monitor. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Mess. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Black box. Subjects. Henry M. Delilah A. Delilah A, age 43, program status review, 10 week. Henry M. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. Report on Henry. Subject, Henry M., age 39, program status review. One week, four week, six week, ten week, twenty five week annual. Ten week. Observational traits. Comprehensive explorer. Keeps to the path. Prone to anger. Passive. Guilty. Forthright. Guarded. Subject overview. Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Update. Subject may be aware of test. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Susceptibility to manipulation, 9 out of 10. Supervisor sign off, e.g. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Report stuff on Delilah. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. Subject, Delilah A. Age 43, program status review, annual. Observational traits, 
reliable, considering alcoholism, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal hi history, pertinent observed facts, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite longtime partner name Javier, susceptibility to manipulation, 3 out of 10, supervisor sign off, e.g. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Maybe that's what they want. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? Maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. The grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's okay. I'm heading back. It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Soil grid. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. Head back to Two Forks Lookout. All right, the whole susceptibility to manipulation thing is wild. Column of smoke. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Collapsed rock bridge. Call it in. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Day 77. Who is listening to us? Oh, nice. End to use wave receiver. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk. Maybe a bad idea? Hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. All right, he's. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Follow wave receiver. Radio off. 
Okay. He's getting like his Charlie Day theory board going up on the wall here. Missing person. Goodwin. Last last seen at Lake. Others missing? Teens. Ron and Dave. NFS or working for them. Brian Goodwin. Goodwin's under surveillance too. Tracking device. Who else are they following? Old walkie talkie. Bugged? Is new radio okay? Wave receiver. They want it back. Who? Who is listening to us? And there are the Ron and Dave notes. There's the note from the girls. Teens. Actually a bear? Teens in on it? Frame me for attack? Wapiti Station. Worried about fires? Knew they were a target? Destroying evidence? Framing us? Wapiti Station. Government owned. Controlled area. Site reports. No too much. Delilah lying? I, oh, look, I can read this note. July 16th, 1989. What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell. I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie-talkie, and I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might be some sort of study going on. Like maybe we were given these jobs, not just to look for fires, but to be a part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck. I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. <clears throat> Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies, too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone, too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. All right. That's pretty cool. All right, well, out we go. Yep. So that's the June fire. Straight ahead. Yeah, I remember how to use it. Come on. That same engine. Oh! It's doing that engine bug. Now that's twice in a row. Just clear the gap in- Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Just clear the gap in the brush. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Oh, that took like five tries. Strange backpack. Shit. What? Alarm box. Ah. Examine strange bag. Hmm. National Shoshone Forest K452. Hey, report backpack. Report alarmed bag. See, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, some basics. It was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. And I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, K-452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's... 
let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. But the fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Get back to lookout. Oh boy. Empty lookout. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Taped Walkman. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Taped Walkman. Take. Tape of us talking. A tape of us talking down at the site. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Don't freak out. He, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Day 78. anything wrong someone claiming to be Henry in two forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire um. so I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know or that I'm an arsonist or that I'm fucking losing it furthermore I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night so someone has evidence to back it up we need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. Explore we don't the cave. I'm left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just stick together. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. Okay, I, I probably missed the first couple of these, but I can read these now. July 17th, 1989. I didn't write down more later. The sun's not up yet. I'm exhausted. At daylight, I'm going to head down into the cave in the canyon and see what I can find. I don't know what else to say, really. I know I should probably take extensive notes. Yesterday, I had the thought that maybe I'm not quite right in the head. <clears throat> it just came across me for a moment, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't think it for a second. I'm going down into the cave, and I just hope I find something. I don't care what happens as long as I find something. I wonder what will happen if I don't make it back. I'm obviously a little worried about that, and I'm not trying to act tough, but what would actually happen? It's hard to imagine at this stage anybody would notice. Susan. 
My sister out in Maryland would eventually get a call, and I'd feel bad for not seeing her and the kids for so long. But Julia, it's almost been six months now, and maybe it wouldn't even register. Maybe I don't even register. I just felt a little panic there. What if I do register, and I just left her alone? Yeah, well, these are all valid concerns. All right. Out we go. Off to the cave. The June fire. We got ash. Must be from the, the Wapiti Station fire. See the cave. Cave was off in the same direction as the outhouse, if I can spot it. There we go. This is it. Toward Beartooth Point. I mean, as far as I know, the the cave is about the only thing we haven't explored. I guess that that and there's still Thoroughfare Basin in the very northwest corner. Those are the only two things, and we're about to check out the cave. That's exciting. against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. I'm glad I have a flashlight now. <laughs> 452. Use key. <coughs> Excuse me. What the hell? Did they just lock me in? They just fucking locked me in. I can't unlock it from this side. Find a way out of the cave. Rat bastards. Jesus, this is a big cave. Long, steep drop. Loose rocks. Use Pulaski. Shafts of light. Kraken rocks squeeze through. Oh boy. This is a very big cave. in here. Oh shit. Is anybody sh down there? A shoe. That's no good. No, please. 
continue progressing. Thank you. Oh shit. We're out. But where are we? <clears throat> Trapped in cave. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Where did we come out? Hawk's Rest. Okay, I feel like we've already been here, but maybe not. Oh, hey, what's this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Well, yeah, he did. Hand-drawn schematic. Backpack retrieval plan. Do you remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Backpack retrieval plan, mark four, to get boards, four to six, rope, borrow, rocks, 15, tools, borrow. Cat rope, spool, counterweight, pulley, angle control, crank, magnet hook, <clears throat> pack contents. My rope, our camera. Science homework? Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Good night, Alex. Our kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Are you saying I'm a knucklehead? What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um,. Now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. Science homework? Brian Goodwin, Hamilton Science Fair, Rough Draft, Mrs. McNamara, 6th grade, April 4th, 1986. Talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now, you were thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator, it's not real. But you were wrong. It is real. It is science. It is possible because of meteor scatter communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real, but what it is, what it is, MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors, upon their atmospheric entry, can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communications paths between operators up to 1,500 miles away. It's pretty cool. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the Army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles from my house. We are going to try to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that, is that that won't work, and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish a communication. School folder. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, 
Maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. School folder. A folder that once held school papers and reports, presumably defaced by Brian Goodwin. The Draculords. You are dead. Ha, <laughs> Freddy Krueger, nice. Gladius Silva. Alright, hold on to that too. Old pillow. Seat cushion. You made the place pretty comfy too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. Handmade sign. The Goodwins family crest. Report in progress to core. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Ham radio diagram. Report radio schematic. There's a ham radio schematic here? Something Brian was working on? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Ham radio plan by Brian and Ned Goodwin. Radio Goodwin with Brian and Ned. Oh, wow. There was a time I could read electrical diagrams like this. I can't anymore. Interesting but wrong, not conventional, past maximum voltage, too high. Postcard. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts, because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Animal nest. Fortress wall. A bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Old paint can. Banner. Banner. Books. Comic book. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. That's fucking dark. Go ahead, kill my family. It only makes me stronger. Wow. Yeah. It is dark. Anything under these banners? Looks like an endless stack. Oh, nope. It does have a bottom, and there's nothing under it. Okay, what else we got? Okay, wizards and wyvern sheet. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Player Brian, character Gladius Silva. Alignment, Chaotic Good, Race, Half-Elf, Class Ranger, Level 4, 
Sex male, age 29, height 5 foot 8 inches, weight 135, appearance rugged. Hair, black, eyes, blue green, clan, homeworld, <laughs> unintelligible nerd stuff. Thanks, Henry. Note to Ranger. He also stole his dad's climbing equipment, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Note to Ranger. Dear Ranger, Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. And we have a bundle of pythons. So I can climb now. Alright, cool. Cracked rock. Drive piton into crack. I'm probably going to be killed. Probably something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry. And they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? I gotta know what it is. Honestly, I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. We got something. Dead elk. Uh, I've got a dead elk out here. It's torn up something good. You think it got wise to a government program? Shut up. This elk is wearing a tracking collar. The wave receiver picked it up. Is that right? Yeah, it's numbered. Hmm. Like the subjects they were following. Yeah, like that? Well, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it would. Maybe they were just tracking elk. Maybe they were tracking elk at that site. Maybe they were doing exactly what they said they were. Delilah. Yeah. There was lots of equipment there. I mean, they, they could have been up to a lot, you know? Yeah, sure. They could be. Video tracking collar. 3871. The good news is, I should be able to see the, uh... Oh shit. They were just tracking elk. 3871. 
unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males, avoidance behaviors, frequent departure from Two Forks area, disproportionate food intake. Yeah, so this at least was elk, but the observation reports about me and Delilah are decidedly not about elk. <laughs> so that's interesting. Anyway, gap in brush. What's this? <clears throat> Old note. 83086. Dave. Heyo. Debbie told me about what happened to Cassie's, and I just wanted to say I'm real sorry. That's just, I don't know, fucked. Totally fucked. I wish I would have been there. I would have kicked the living shit out of every one of those ignorant hicks. Debbie was trying to explain to me why they'd kick your ass so good, and I just don't get it. Fucked. Anyway, man, I don't really know how to get a hold of you. I sent a note up to the hospital in Billings, but I'm not even sure you're still there. Deb and I are talking about heading up to Alaska in the spring, so I'm not sure I'll be out here again, so yeah, maybe you'll get this note in May. Also, dude, found this old ha song in a shitter near Hawk's Rest, appropriate place for it, really, and thought I'd give it the Ron treatment for you. Dig it. Get better, amigo. Find me if you're ever in Sitka. Ron. Wait. Do you know what happened to Dave? Do you know what ever happened to Dave the Ranger? Why? I was just wondering about him and the other guy, Ron. Last I heard, Ron was in Alaska. His ex-girlfriend, Debbie, is the one who works the Forest Service desk in Cody. Well, Dave got beat up pretty bad in a bar fight last year. Huh. I never heard about that. I've heard people give him a hard time because he, uh, isn't exactly a ladies' man. Oh. Oh, I see. Shitty. Cassette tape. Report boss tracks. So I found notes between these two rangers, Ron and Dave. You know them? Yeah. What do they have to do with anything? Well, nothing, I don't think. I just found a cassette tape one of them left for the other. Do you think it could be anything like the tape you have of us? No, I think it's just music. Well, if it's the new Millie Vanilli, it could be just as incriminating. Hmm. Boss tracks number one. I'll keep that too. Oh, good, I get to hear it. I'm headed off to our old Shoshone, where the birds and the bees won't know me. Men and war won't exist no more, and there ain't no gals to keep no score. I'm taking off for the woods To a place where there ain't no shirts Don't need no books or ponds or the ponderosas Don't need no lady or marry the mariposas Can't waste no time in getting there I'll do 80 down 80 without oh, a Oh, uh, also, Don't those no girls turned up. up Looks like you didn't kill them Nobody did Oh, that's good. Took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Wonder if they know anything. I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. Probably right. I'm headed off to a ocean shawnee Where the birds and the bees won't know me Men and war won't exist no more And there ain't no gals to keep no score I'm headed off to a ocean shawnee Where the elk and the owls won't know me Here's the cave again Where there ain't no judges to whom I gotta be Cause I can be me in ocean shawnee Try it again, I guess.
Cracked rock. Drive a python in. It is interesting that the bulletin board was just them tracking elk, though. Well, suddenly that's like two out of four plot lines wrapped up. The girls are wrapped up, uh, Ron and Dave are wrapped up. We still have the Goodwins and whoever, the, of course, the main thread, whoever's been spying on us. Oh no. Ah, uh, shit. You. Oh god. Brian Goodwin. Brian Goodwin's body. Crypto Castle. Well, I guess that tells us that. That's three out of four. Now we just have the main thread. That sucks. Well, we don't know where his dad is. Climb out of cave and report body. That's pretty terrible. Report body. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. <sighs> Call search and rescue. Sit down. Hey, you um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I think it was an accident. I, I think that's just what it was. He was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day 79. <clears throat> 
Alright, well, that pretty much just leaves the main thread. Which is very curious, because they were definitely spying on us, and they were definitely also just tracking elk. Pack up belongings. Mm hmm Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get out of here. Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. What, is this the June fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About who was surveilling us. We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever's out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a plan. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Oh, forget it. Be safe, Henry. Okay, well. I guess that's that. We've got everything, everything we might want to pack out with us. Yeah, okay, well this is terrifying. The smoke and the ash. It was actually kind of like this around here, you know, when we had the big wildfires two years ago in the fall of 2020. Alright, well. Where are we, where, where, where are we at? What's no. Not 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 since the ones two years ago. I Getting close. Alright, well I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's it's just Brian. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Okay. Very interesting. So we are going to hike all the way to Delilah's Tower. Kind of thought that might be... Kind of thought that might be the ending.
Oh shit. Henry. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Collar. Cassette tape. What's this one say? Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. Ned! The dad. A lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. All right, thanks, Meerkat. For keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for Croc's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell. And I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. Okay, good night, Meerkat. Cool stop worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Goodwin's tape. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin. He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. He... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Hike north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. I don't think that's quite accurate. Ned didn't write the reports on us. Head north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. Improvised hatch. Teen magazines. Wizards and Wyverns, a role playing rule book. He held on to some of Brian's things. Wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure you found it riveting. Father's Day card. He. Oh, God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Read. To a rad bad mega dad. A photo. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. A photo of Brian Goodwin torn from a missing persons flyer. Sleeping bag from the teens campsite. List of supplies. Winter needs, 1989. 2,000 ounces of propane. 1.5 cords backup firewood. 400 pounds food. 100 on hand, 300 buried. 
three winter jackets, three new blankets, 25 box matches, 25 books, 90 amp hours battery power, socks, 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 new boots, duct tape, tri elk skin, summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. Type to draft report. Goodwin was the one who wrote the oh. reports I found at the site. Oh, okay. I, I guess he was. Subject, Delilah A. Age 43. Program status review. Observational traits. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent observed facts. Never mm, fuck. Research site info. Report logs of our activity. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I guess it was just him. Research site info. How to break in. Wapiti Station, North Fence, Loose Entrance, South Gate. Staff return August 10th. To do. Return borrowed equipment. Erase H and D evidence. Leave no trace. Okay. So Wapiti Station, they were they were just messing with the soil and the elk. And he he had he put in everything to do with us. Report draft. Old typewriter. Subject Henry M. Age 39, program status review, observational traits. Fuck. Guilty. Coffee percolator. Report draft. Subject, Delilah A. Age 43, program status review, one week, four weeks, six week. Report. Subject, Henry M. Age 39, program status review, ten week. Observational traits. Keep to st keeps to the path. Passive. Guilty. Forthright. Pertinent observed facts. No kids. Abandoned wife of 11 years. Would not be missed if removed. Susceptibility to manipulation. 9 out of 10. Supervisor SGN. God damn it. Yeah. Well, typos on typewriters. All you can do is start over. Workbench. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. It's a good idea. I don't know. Disassembled stereo. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls. Yeah. I thought you threw it into the lake. Well, he must have fished it out. Battery bank. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Oh boy. Radio log. Three fourteen eighty nine. First Ranger fly fishing at Jay Lake. Reminder rainbows hitting cad flies. Three twenty four eighty nine. Saw Mama Grizz on morning hike. Three thirty eighty nine. Rainy week, water stocks good, smoking trout while hikers gone. Four five eighty nine. BG birthday, saw first ranger of the year. Uh, Brian's birthday. 4-1989, haven't left base in two weeks. 4-2689, three weeks, stir crazy. 4-3089, big hike tomorrow, cave. 5-189, new lookout in 2F, Henry 2F. Saw 2F coming out of cave. D calling for hikers list, delay her, she'll forget. Ha ha ha. I guess he knows her. 
Oh, I could read that. That's good. Radio log. 5289. Hiked to BT point. Severed radio com. Okay, so he's the one who cut the lot line and tried to make it look like the pissed off girls. 5389. D never called for hiker list. Rerigged Delano to pick up dual frequency. Can hear D and 2F at concurrently. 5989. 2F hiked by cave. He seems less interested. 5 2F. Jules. Julian? Julia? 6 2F is a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. 6 D drunk again. Six three eighty nine. Get a room. Reminder: Scout migration due to fire. Seven fifteen eighty nine. Fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder: Hide supplies for migration. D and two F sus suspect conspiracy. Funny if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas: Start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize D's tower. Pin on two F. Try to make remote recording device. Uni research site. Move. Pit against each other. 71689. Stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Make D and 2F less believable. 2F? Crazy? Like wife? Not good guy. Mama Grizz back. 71689. They heard me. Fully believe there is a program. Use this. 71689. Reports final. Make sure they find them. 71689. 2F almost caught me at sight. Reports worked. Recorded call used for leverage. 71789. 2F found supplies. How? Key's gone. Can't let 2F find B. Alright. He had quite the view. Radio base station. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Goodwin's view. Alright, well, there we go. There we go. Yeah, no, major PTSD. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. I think it was an accident. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been 
so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. Don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <sighs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Wait. Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay? I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. I'm not far. Okay. And this is obviously the end, so... I figure I might as well work on using up the, uh, <clears throat> the remaining pictures I've got. That's two forks, that's mine. My mistake, that's not a trail.
All right, that's all the pictures we're taking. I think I might have gotten a little turned around again. Three o two. Okay. This way. It's a pretty good ending ambient track. Hey, there's supposed to be a trail I can use somewhere around here. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. Ah, here we go. I remember this. Yes, yes, yes. The supply drop and the thoroughfare lookout are this way. Alright, I got signage now. Right, this is the branch I never took. Thoroughfare fire lookout. Seems obvious we're not actually going to get to meet Delilah. Cable car. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? That's what I figured. Her outhouse. Have a good time. Well, I guess we get to see how the other half it's lives. A out there. Hello, Delilah. No surprise, she did not wait. Damn it! Nice slippers. Mix nuts. She's way more organized than I was. I guess if she does this every year, that makes sense. Wildland fire danger rain... rating. Tequila. Major Buenos. I'll eat her apple, why not? Drawing of Henry. Henry, what we know. White, shorts, thick beard, tired eyes. Hi, I'm Mayhem Jr. 
the turtle. Aw. Okay, I actually kind of like that. Radio headset, desk radio. Forest Burns can dig it. Ha! Pork Pond. She's she's the one who stole the sign, because of course she is. One thousand one crosswords. One thousand one more crosswords. Lucian's Gambit. Well, not too much, except she did do the drawing she told us about. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. I'm disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just... You're not mad, you're just disappointed? I'm not your dad after you got busted smoking pot. I just couldn't be out there for another minute. You could have just said that. He really wanted me to stay. I did. And now I'm... Disappointed. Yeah. I know. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock... We found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. <laughs> oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe... Become crossword editor at the New York Times. Well, you could always go take over the crossword at the New York Times. Oh yeah, I could probably fall right into that. New York? Big city? Couldn't be further from here. I've never been. Well, when I end up out there... Yeah. So, um, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you.
raccoon. Probably didn't get rabies. I found the raccoon. That's bullshit. Whatever. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say I got all the achievements, too, because I found the fucking raccoon. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for some more Oblivion. Mm -hmm. Take care.